In this video, we are going to see how to set the egress traffic in public GKE cluster to take the static IP from the cloud net. In the case of a private GKE cluster, since there is no public IP address interface on the nodes, all the outbound egress traffic will go via cloud net. In standalone public GKE cluster, we need to make some changes by not masquerading the outbound CIDR range. So the egress traffic will not take the node IP at the instant. Instead, we'll retain the odd IP to send the outbound traffic via the cloud net. So for this demo, let's create a custom VPC network. I have already provisioned all the required infrastructure for this demo. Let's have a custom VPC network named GKE-VPC. And uh, we will provision secondary IP ranges for the pod network and the service network. Uh, once we have done this, uh, we have to enable the Kubernetes uh, API and you can provision a standalone public GKE cluster. I have already provisioned uh, this GKE cluster. This is a public GKE cluster. As this is a public GKE cluster, the nodes of this GKE cluster will have public IP addresses. And I have chosen a two node cluster. I have not provisioned uh, uh, multiple nodes. I have only provisioned two nodes for the demo purpose. And the next thing that we need to do is we have to provision the cloud net. I have provisioned the uh, cloud net with a cloud router. And uh, I have chosen a static IP address uh, that I had reserved already. This is the static IP address of the cloud net. So we have all the required infrastructure in place. So let's begin with the demo. So for the purpose of this demo, I have created a sample flask uh, based uh, flask, I mean Python flask app that will return the uh, static IP address, uh, the egress static IP address. So this will return its own static IP for all of that it is using for the outbound traffic. And I have also, ex I'm planning to expose this as a load balancer. I've already deployed the workload uh, in the public GKE cluster. And I have exposed this service as a load balancer. The purpose of exposing this service as a load balancer is just for a demo purpose. There is no need for uh, exposing this service as a load balancer. You can even have this as a cluster IP and uh, do a port forwarding uh, to this uh, application uh, for your testing purpose. But since uh, exposing this as a load balancer will enable me to reach the app directly over the internet. And uh, it's much, it is much more easier than doing a port forwarding for a cluster IP. 
So let's go ahead and open up uh, this app. This is the home page. And uh, if you go to this uh, URI, get my IP. This will display the IP address of the node where it resides. So let's go ahead and check that. So it is currently residing in this node 34.136.8.100. So it has taken the static IP of this particular node. So now let's go ahead and uh, create the config map, the IP mask agent config map, and uh, the daemon set uh, in the cube system namespace. Uh, we have uh, discussed this in detail in the medium post. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and create the config map first. Next is we need to create the daemon set. Let's verify if the daemon set is deployed in the cube system namespace. It is successfully deployed. So after we deployed this mask agent, uh, we should see that it, it is taking the static IP of the cloud net. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. And it's there. It has changed the IP address. It is now taking the static IP address of our cloud net. Let's go ahead and verify if the IP address that is shown here is the same IP address that we have in the cloud net. As you can see, it is the same IP address that we have configured in our cloud net. And uh, we have successfully changed the egress traffic from our GK cluster to assume the cloud net's static IP. So let's look at the config file um, that we have used for our IP mask agent. So this is the non-masquerade ciders for the outbound traffic, 0 .0 .0 slash 0. And uh, uh, once we have deployed this non-masquerade cider, all the outbound traffic will stop assuming the node IP and all the, uh, the traffic will be sent internally via the cloud net. Uh, I hope it was useful. Thanks for watching this video.